Assalamualaikum. In this video, I'll take you through on how you can interpret the semester summary page on our new academic report. The semester summary page will provide you with a snapshot of your child's academic performance as well as his or her involvement in co-curricular activities as well as community service activities. Let's now have a look at the different sections in this semester summary page. The first table that you will find will consist of the grade and the distribution scale. For the grade, this is basically a cumulative grade. So in this case here, this student has scored a C+. This cumulative grade of C+, is calculated based on this student's performance in all the subject that he or she has undertaken for this reporting cycle. In the next column is the distribution scale. This distribution scale will indicate this student's performance in comparison to his or her year level peers. As you can see for this particular year level, most students are at the D, C and C plus range. So for this student, he or she is on a C plus band, which means that he or she is performing slightly better than the rest of the cohort. In the next table is information pertaining to the student's attendance at school. This is an overall attendance and for this student, he has been absent for 29 days and late for school for 11 and a half days. Let's move on to the next table, which will consist of a summary of the student's performance across all the different subjects that he or she is taking. This table will provide you a summary of the student's behavior and effort, attendance for a particular subject, and how the student has performed for this particular reporting cycle. With this, you would be able to make some connection between the attendance and the results to see whether there's a correlation between attendance and the results for the students. From this table, you can also find the subject teacher's name for each subject that the student is taking. Moving on, the next two columns will consist of the student's co-curricular activities and the number of hours that he or she has put in in regards to community service. So in this case here, yeah, these are the three different co-curricular activities that the student has participated in this reporting cycle. And this student has also um, contributed or put in three hours for the EAT toy drive um, initiative. And this will correspond to a merit award as per the interpretative sheet for the community service hours. As you can see, the semester summary page provides you with a quick snapshot of your child's academic performance in comparison to his or her year-level peers. Besides that, you will also see the breakdown of your child's performance in all the different subjects that he or she is undertaking, with the attendance information being provided as well. Lastly, we also present the co-curricular activities as well as the community service activities that your child has participated in for this particular reporting cycle. With this, thank you very much for watching. Assalamualaikum.